Hello friends, welcome to muzzle training with Haley and Petra. So, Petra is about 15 months old. Um, she has no need for a muzzle uh, at this point in her life, but um, every dog should be muzzle trained because muzzles are a very handy tool. You never know when you're going to need one. Muzzles are not a bad thing, I know they're stigmatized. But, um, if you've trained your dog ahead of time to be okay with wearing a muzzle, then if you ever have to put them in a muzzle, it's not going to be a big deal because they're comfortable wearing. So, we are going to introduce Petra to this muzzle today. Um, we are starting with a fresh start. This is the first time she's ever seen a muzzle. She's never touched one before. She has no idea what this is. So, that's where you want to start. She has no association with this, with discomfort, with being afraid of things, nothing. So we're just going to start doing basic muzzle training and I'll show you how that's going to work. Uh, we're going to work at her pace and we'll see how it goes. Hey, Papa. So I have some of her kibble here. She hasn't had a whole lot to eat today, so she's actually pretty hungry. So in the beginning, I don't even know what that is. In the beginning, we're not even going to put it on. Um, we're just going to start with having her target the muzzle. So we just want her to practice touching it, we want her to interact with it. I'm going to hide the food because that's what she's staring at right now. This. Look at this. Yes. So YES is her marker that she's done something right. I just want her to target this. Still staring at where she thinks the food is. I'm going to move all the food behind me. This game is not about the food, it's about this. I'm going to take it out of my hand too, so, uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Nothing in my hands. Just this. Had a little boop. That's what we wanted. Yes. Yes. I'm going to hold my hand out here so she knows I have nothing in my hand. She knows this game is not about. Yes. Good job, Boo Bear. So what this will eventually turn into is her putting her nose into the muzzle voluntarily. Yes, nice work. Flop it around. Yes. The muzzle's gonna make sound, so I want her to be familiar with all those. Yes, good job. Yes, yeah. I want her to know what it's like to feel the straps. Yes. Jingle the buckle. Yes. Even push it around on the floor. Yes, nice job. Yes, nice work. Yes. Yes. All right, so now we've got a pretty steady stream of her offering the behavior of booping the muzzle. Yes, good work. Yes. Hold it out here. Yes, good work. She's mouthing it a little bit, which is okay. Yes. For all she knows, this is a toy or a shoe or who knows. Yes, nice work. So the next step to this is start feeding her treats through the little opening. So when she has this on, yes, that was good. She basically put her face into it. I like that a lot. 
Nice, good job. She's even kind of pushing into it, which is what's going to be required for her to put it on. So this is excellent. Yes, nice work. So when she has this on, you'll see there are a couple major openings on the front here. There's this one right here. This is uh, for her nose. And then this opening, yes, this opening on the bottom down here is um, for basically for her tongue. Yes, she put her whole face in there that time. That's awesome. Her whole, uh, her tongue is going to be able to hang out here. She'll be able to drink through here and eat through here. So I'm going to start feeding, yes, I'm going to start feeding treats through that, that, uh, mouth hole down there. Let's grab ourselves a kibble. I'm going to put it through the mouth hole. Yes. Nice work. So we've already got her. Yes. And I'm putting it through as, as much as I can. Oh, no hands. This isn't a hands game. Hands game. Look at this. I'm gonna show her the treat. I'm gonna put it right through. It's good job, baby. Good job. Yes. I know with a dog who's particularly sensitive about stuff on their face. Yes. Or who just is a little more intimidated by the muzzle for some reason. Um, you may have to find some different ways of delivering this. Yes. She's essentially putting her entire face in there to get that treat. Yes. Another way that you can do this is you can actually line the muzzle with uh, wax paper or something like that um, and put a bunch of food inside. Just kind of drop it like it's a little bowl. Yes. Nice job. And so the dog actually has to put their face in there to get the food out. And that can be a little bit easier than... Yes, that can be easier than, than sticking their face in there while you're holding it. Maybe you could put it on the floor so that um, they can kind of reach in there on their, on their terms. I think we'll show her the treat again. Yes, nice. Yes. 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 So you'll see what happened here. I'm picking up the treat. I'm actually just holding it in front of them. Yes. She's holding it in front of the muzzle. Yes. And Petra's actually offering to put her face in there by herself. Let's reset here. Yes. So I don't even have to put the treat into the muzzle for her to offer. Yes. This is already kind of changing from more of a lure to something more like a hand signal that I'm holding the treat in this hand. I'm putting it in front of the muzzle. Yes. And she's sticking her nose right on in there. Yes. Nice work. I like that she's really pushing into that muzzle too. Because that shows me that she's comfortable with the feeling of it around her face. At least enough to, yes, really engage with it physically. Yes. Nice work. Nice stuff. So I'm going to kind of take a break here. Just did some rapid fire repetition. Good girl. Very good. Very good. So this time, I'm going to, because she's advancing pretty quickly, I'm going to put the treat down. And this time, I'm just going to hold the muzzle up and see if she offers uh, to put her nose in it. That's what I'm looking for. Ready? Yes. Nice work. No treat in my hand. Thank you, baby. This up. Yes. Didn't get her nose in, but she did poop it. That's cool. I only have a couple kibbles left. So our training session is going to be over in a minute. Yes. Still want to reward her through the muzzle there. Put everything down. Put the treat down. Good. Yes. All right, one more. Yes. Nice work. Awesome job. Okay, we're done. You did it. You did it. So that was an awesome first muzzle training session. I'll remind you, Petra's never seen a muzzle in her life. That's the first time she's ever interacted with one. Um, and in just about 10 minutes, we've gone from having no association with a muzzle to 
having a great association with the muzzle and having an idea of what to do when we see one. So as we move forward, this is going to evolve into holding her mouth in there for longer. Good girl, good girl. I wish I had a treat, I would reward her for that. But, um, and eventually putting on the straps, fitting everything, putting it on for longer periods of time, and good job. Good job. Now if you try this with your dog and they don't warm up to it as quickly, don't be surprised um, and don't be concerned. Petra has a lot of experience, good job. Petra has a lot of experience um, offering behaviors and learning new behaviors, so she's done this a lot of different times where she's been taught how to interact with something in a new way and offer ways to get rewards with that thing. So, um, if your dog takes several sessions to get to this point, don't worry about it. Just go at their pace. Uh, take your time. Use uh, something that they really love, like their favorite treat or a toy or whatever it takes, um, and they'll warm up to it, I promise. Thanks for watching.